Here's Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button down below. And if you click on the bell, YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I'll make sure I put all those links down below in the description box. So what do we have going today? What's our inspiration project going on today? So I'm not sure if you noticed my cute earrings, but these are leather and faux leather um, earrings that I made using my Cricut. So I've been having lots of fun making earrings and I've also combined the leather with um, heat transfer vinyl. So today what we're gonna do is we are going to cut um, some genuine leather um, with our Cricut. We're also going to cut some faux leather and we are also going to be applying some HTV. So give me a second to get my camera angle changed and let's get making. So before we get started actually making the earrings, I wanted to give you a close up view of some of the ones I made. I just had so much fun making these earrings and I've got a couple different um, techniques that I've used here. Um, just to give you some ideas. So this first one is um, genuine leather on the back and then a faux leather um, on the front. And we're gonna make another pair of these so you can see that technique. This one is genuine leather um, and then I've done the iron on vinyl just as a design. And then this one is also the genuine leather and I picked up some of Cricut's new mesh um, iron on and so I did a complete overlay so you can just see the black through so Lots of fun and lots of different ideas you can do. So let's get started with what supplies that we're gonna need um, as we make um, these earrings So the very first thing of course you need to start out with is some type of leather now I picked up um, genuine leather Cricut genuine leather um, at Joann's and I happen to have two different colors here. I've got some gold and I've got some black. Now I was watching a video and somebody told me that you can go to Hobby Lobby and sometimes you can find remnant packets of leather. So that's a really good idea, especially from a cost standpoint. Now, the faux leather that I'm using is, these are so fun. I picked up these at Hobby Lobby also, all different types. And yesterday they were on um, two for two for one. So basically I got two rolls um, for $5. Of course, if they're not on sale, you could always use your 40% off coupon, but all different um, types. So we're gonna use this one, the Buffalo plaid. I love my Buffalo plaid so much. So we're gonna use that one today. The other thing that you're gonna need is you really want to have a um, the purple strong grip mat anytime you're using leather now I've got some really good lessons learned that I want to show you on how to protect the mat and What you do is we are going to use strong grip adhesive tape um, Or transfer tape the Cricut is really good. So I'll show you I did so many trial runs on these earrings and I kept jamming my machine But as soon as I learned this trick it definitely worked out great now I am using a deep cut, um, the deep cut blade. You can also use the knife blade, but um, I am using the genuine leather and it's calling for the deep cut. Now I am using a maker. It says this is for the Explorer, but it works just fine. So you can go either Explorer series or the maker series to make these earrings. Now the faux leather, it is calling, and I'm using actually the faux suede is what I use for the setting. I am using my rotary blade um, in my maker. So I've got that I'm using. I'm gonna do um, two sets of earrings for you guys because I wanna show you the HTV um, um, technique also. Now my earrings, the ones that I'm using, are all cutting out the circle of the earring, but if you're using leather and you don't want the machine or you're not sure if the machine is going to cut it, this is a leather punch and um, I happen to have one um, here, and so I've done it both ways. It works really nice. The other thing that is really handy to have is a brayer. 
um, and I use that just to really make sure the leather is on the transfer or excuse me on the strong grip mat because you do not want it to come up um, the only other thing that you're going to need and it looks like I hid them someplace here here they are is you are going to want some um, earring um, backs and I'm just using the wire hoop um, earrings and then the other thing that you're going to want to use is some needle nose pliers um, and the needle nose pliers look just like this so this will help get the earring um, on um, and clamp it down really well so I think I've got all of our tools that we need one other thing and I'll show you the technique is um, you can use a lighter and it actually will finish off the edges of um of the leather and give it a really nice finished look so i'll show you that technique so that's the only other thing that we're going to need is um a little uh, excuse me a lighter to finish that off so give me a second and we'll jump over to design space and i'll show you how i put the designs together for these and then we'll come back over to the machine and we'll get cut in this leather So in design space, I'm already starting out with a couple designs, and I'll make these available to you in my resource library on my blog. But I am doing two different type designs here, because remember we want to do one with the HTV, and I'll be doing that one with this blue and black. We'll be using that HTV um, setting. And then the other one we are going to use and we want to add a second layer to it with that faux leather. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these to black so you guys can see really what it's um, going to look like. And then to add that other layer, I'm just going to duplicate one of them. I'm going to unlock it and I'm just going to reshape it just to a shape. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this one to red just so we can kind of see what it looks like. But I'm just going to play with the shape here. And you guys can do all different types of things here. But just to give you guys an idea, I really like the idea of using the duplicate feature. And then what I'll do now is I will duplicate that one more time because I will make a second red one so that we can have the full, um, the full set. Just line that right up. And then once we have that all done, we are going to go ahead and go over to make it. And I will show you. One other thing I wanted to show you guys is all the different designs that you could choose from. So I had a friend that I had done some um, for. She was going to Mardi Gras. And I'll show you a picture of it when we're all done. But I just wanted to show you some of the other options you can do. We're not going to make this one today, but I want to show you how you can play with different designs. Now, right now, this is three layers, and that's um, really thick to be able to do your um, heat transfer vinyl. So what we want to do is we want to slice. Now, keep in mind, whenever you're doing a slice feature, you can only do two at a time. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to ungroup this pattern because there's three layers here. Let's take out that bottom one. We'll select the two and we're going to hit slice. And so now I have sliced out the one. I'll place it back in there and we can get rid of that one it created. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing with the small one. Of course, I need to bring it up front so I can see it. So I'm going to bring it forward. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice right out of this one. So we're just going to go ahead and do that slice piece. And then we have, are ready to go with our three. Now, I am not going to um, be cutting this out um, today, but I wanted to show you the options. But if you guys would like a more detailed video on this um, function um, of slicing and working with the earrings, please leave a comment down below because I'd love to put something together for you. But you can see here that I was able to slice and I've got the three layers. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. Then I can grab them all together and move them up and I can resize them 
as to how they would fit on the earrings. So just another idea of what you can do with designs. Today we're going to keep it pretty simple and we're just going to use our teardrop design. But I wanted to give you guys an idea of some other things that you could do. So let's just go ahead and get rid of this design. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And then what we're going to do is we are going to move our, um, the part, now remember the red is going to be my buffalo print faux leather and the blue is going to be the heat transfer vinyl. So those are the two techniques we're going to do. Right now when we hit the make it button, it is going to go over to the maker and it's going to show all the black pieces first. So we are going to be cutting them. Now I like to move them around a little bit. I don't like to cut leather up so high. And remember I'm going to show you that technique with the strong grip tape. So I just like to kind of measure in there that I'm going to start at that one by one square and then I put these back in. And then once I get them, I have an idea of what size of leather I'm going to need. So if you look at it, we've got about oh two and a quarter inches of the leather by about six inches. So if we just kind of cross, that's a little over six is what we could cut our piece of leather to. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. And it's going out to look for my maker. And then what we're going to do is we are going to select our material. So I go up to browse all materials. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to type in um, leather. Now keep in mind, all three of these cuts are going to take different materials. So we need to remember to change our material as we go. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the genuine leather setting. So once I click on that, now this is where I'm going to show you when we load the machine, but keep in mind here it says move star wheels all the way to the right, and then when you cut you can move them back. Really important, and I'll show you that when we load the map so you can see it, and it's telling me to load my deep point um, blade in clamp B. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll hop over to the machine and I'll meet you over there so that we can load up our mat. Let's get our mat loaded now. So the step that I learned that I really want you guys to learn from my mistakes is, like I was telling you, this strong grip um, tape. So I'm going to go ahead and put this strong grip tape on first. So I'm going to put that on and um, just bray it down so it's down really well. And then I am going to remove the back of the tape. And I'm just going to leave the tape down there. Now sometimes it doesn't totally cooperate, but that's why you want your strong grip mat. And so this is really protecting your mat. I have got one of my mats, and this one is not in the best of shape, but this leather just flakes really bad. Now the other thing that I learned is there is the smooth side of the leather, which is what you want your earrings to be the front of, and then there is the rougher side, it's almost like the suede side. We're gonna put the smooth side down on the um, strong grip, tape and we want to make sure that's on there nice and straight and then I'm gonna bray it and it is just unbelievable what a difference this makes I did um, some test runs of earrings and I kept jamming my machine in fact one pair I ended up having to just cut myself um, and it was really frustrating so so we've got our um, leather on. We're going to bring our machine out and we are going to put our um, knife blade in. So this is the deep knife blade. It is a little bit, um, it comes out a little bit further than your regular blades. I always like to push it up just a little bit just to make sure it's nice and clean. I'm going to go ahead and put it into spot B. 
and then I'm going to load my machine. Now the star wheels, I already had mine moved to the side, but these are the star wheels that they were referring to. You put those all the way over to the side because what happens if you don't is they'll crease your leather and you don't want that to happen. So I'm down really well. I'm adhered really well. I'm gonna go ahead and load my mat. And then as soon as my Cricut button flashes, which it is, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. It is gonna go over and check for my blade just like it always does. It's gonna come back and then it is gonna do the pass on my earrings. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this section for you guys and I'll join you when we're offloading. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and unload it and I wanna show you how nice that the Cricut did this with. So I'm just gonna peel that off and I'll tell you that is just, comes off so smooth. Peel these off and the back of the tape is still on here. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and pull those all off. And if I take the back, the back of this tape just peels right off. And you can see if I poke a little hole right there, that that hole has come through perfect. So comes out really nice. So let's move back over to design space and we are going to get ready for our next mat and I want to show you that we need to make sure that we change the type of material. So we're back in design space and now what we need to do is go up to browse material again and I'm going to go ahead and just put faux f-a-u-x and it's going to bring up a couple different options. Now the faux leather is paper thin and mine is not paper thin. So I'm going to go ahead and first grab this faux suede and when I go to it you will see it is calling for the fine point blade. So I really want to use my rotary blade. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the drop down box, go back and um, type in um, the faux and then I am going to grab the other. The one nice thing about this is if you are using your Explorer, you know there's another option for your fine point blade. But I'm going to go ahead and use my rotary blade. So let's get that loaded on the machine and I'll join you over at the mat. So with the faux leather, since it's asking me for my rotary blade, I am going to use my fabric grip, grip mat. I'm sure you could use just your standard green mat if you wanted. Now I like to turn this one upside down also. So I am going to do that and go ahead and use my brayer again, making sure it's on. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take out our deep cut blade and we're going to put our rotary blade in. And then I'm going to go ahead and load my mat. And I'm going to let it do its cutting. I'm going to offload the mat. That one was a little bit interesting watching the rotary blade um, hit that center um, hole. So we'll see. Now this one hasn't totally come, but it is really, really close. So what I like to do on this is I have my scissors and it's just literally threads that are holding it on. So the cut is there. There's just a couple places that it has not grabbed all the way through. So you can just see very just little threads. So I just go ahead and finish it with my scissors. So it'll be interesting to try that one maybe with the um, the fine cut blade to see if that finishes it off all the way. So just that little bit right there. This cut's really nice. The other nice thing about this is if you didn't have a Cricut, um, this type of material cuts very, very easy with your scissors. So. There we've got, just trim that up a little bit. Okay, so now if I were to take these, you'll start to see how this is gonna come together. How cute are those 
earrings going to be when we've got them all done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over. I'm going to change my setting um, on my design space to glitter vinyl. And we're going to go ahead and just load that really quick here. And we just need a small piece. So I'm just going to cut off a piece of my teal glitter vinyl. Now, glitter vinyl always goes face down. Well, all HDB goes face down. Um, you don't necessarily have to do this as a mirror image. I mean, it's just um, a teared up design, but it's always good just rule of thumb to always do HTB as a mirror image. So again, I'm braying it down really well. Um, you could use your scraper for it. I actually picked up my brayer at a secondhand store, um, and I just love using it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all loaded. I will tell you that I definitely do not want my rotary um, blade in there. And so I'm going to remove my rotary blade, and I'm going to go ahead and put my fine point in. change our setting on design space and then I'll be right back and we're going to go ahead and there we have it we've got all of our material cut to make our earrings so I'm just going to grab my pen pen I love to save my vinyl, so I'm going to see where those are at, and I'm going to actually cut that so I can put that into my scrap pile. Because you can see that the earrings do not take a lot of material, which is really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that off. Weeds so nice. I even have... Yep even have the dots for the little holes. So I can line those up perfect. So those are going to go on. Where did I put them off to the side? Those are going to go on our other earrings. So let me get the earrings all together and we will move on to the next step of assembling them. So let's go ahead and do the um, faux leather ones first. But while we're working on those, I'm going to go ahead and heat up my Easy Press. Now, when I'm using genuine leather, um, I like to set my Easy Press at 300 um, and for 15 seconds. So we're going to go ahead um, 300 and 15 seconds. So we'll let that get that heated up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to work on these. Now, one trick, remember I told you is, and it's probably hard to see in the camera, but there's little, I don't know, little hangies. Um, they're kind of fuzzy. So be super careful doing this. But all you do is take and you burn those off. I don't know if you can see that now, but all those little fuzzies are gone. They are. They sell a cream that you can put on, but um, I just find this one a little bit cheaper. Be super careful that you're not burning your hand. But that is all nice and clean around my earring. But I'm just going to do that on each one of these. So it's just, and you want to do it in an angle. And I just keep my flame going and I just slowly move my earring around. I hope you guys can see that. Just be really, really careful. It's just burning all those edges off. And it just gives a really, really clean, clean finish to the leather. The Cricut does an awesome job of cutting it. But there's just those little edges. They're just little frays. And you just can take care of it this way. And I'll do that last one. It's just all nice and finished. So easy as that. Just be really careful, you guys, when you're doing that. Don't want to burn yourself. 
So let's put together our faux ones, the buffalo plaid ones. So let's see if my hole punched through there. I didn't punch that out. Oh, there goes my easy press. It's ready to go. I thought I had punched a hole there, but remember we used the rotary blade for that one. So that one doesn't look like it went through quite, but I think we're gonna be okay. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure it up. Now, when you're using these hoop earrings, I put these together backwards all the time. So you wanna open them up and you open it up with your needle nose and you wanna hold it with the back going backwards, okay? And then you wanna put your earring in Okay, and then we're going to push through the faux. Just like that. Okay, so we've got them together. Okay, and then we're going to use our needle nose to close that back up. And then the little circle comes down to guard it. Okay, so that is how we put, so let's do a second one. So we're gonna open it up, have the earring facing backwards. We're going to put that in and we're going to push through on the faux. It's thin enough that you can push it through. Would have been good to have a hole, but it is pushing right through for me. There we go. Got that through, push it with my fingernail back just a little bit, and use your needle nose to close yourself off. And you have got your earring all done. Now, I have sometimes put together, put a little piece of double-sided tape just to keep those together, but these two hooked in really, really nice. So there we go, we've got those earrings put together. Now let's go ahead and do the ones with the heat transfer vinyl. So I'm gonna move over here, hopefully you can still see me. Let me move my camera just a little bit for you guys. I learned not ever to press on top of my mat. I absolutely love my Cricut mat, but it does not take the heat well. So we're gonna start with our easy press mat. We're gonna put our earrings down I like to heat my earring up just a little bit. So I use a Teflon cover and I am just going to just rub it just a little bit. This does not take long to do at all. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put those. I need to cut, let me grab my scissors. Should have had them right with me. I'm gonna cut those apart. And remember, these ones both have the holes in them. So I'm gonna match up my hole exactly, just like that. Really helps it get lined up nice. Okay, and you can do more than one at a time. I like to do one at a time just because you wanna make sure your um, it doesn't move. And it's only 15 seconds. So you're gonna go ahead and press, go on the easy press and watch that go down. And I'll tell you, these are fun to make. Just think of all the different colors, glitter, or just regular vinyl. I mean, regular HDV, it doesn't have to be the glitter, um, but there's some really cool like holographic iron-ons there. But look how easy that comes off and look how pretty that earring is. Just glistens. So let's go ahead and do the second one. Same process. We're just going to line it up. Make sure we get lined up really good there. We're going to put it down. Use our little Teflon sheet. Move that other one out of the way. And I'm going to press my go button. And then all we're gonna do is put the backs on these and we just made two sets of earrings in no time. Great for gifts, great to custom make all your earrings for every outfit you've ever, you know, you've got. Um, 
and look at that. Now I've seen a lot of people just use the regular um, um, vinyl, like the 651 permanent vinyl. You can definitely do that too. I just really like using the um, heat transfer. So let's go ahead and put this one together. I can go ahead and turn my easy press off and we're gonna go through the same process. We're gonna open it up. Remember it's facing backwards. We're going to put it right through the hole and this one definitely goes through the hole nice because the hole's right there. I'm gonna take it, close it up and there you go. Same thing here. I'm going to open it up. I'm gonna plop it in. I'm gonna use my needle nose. You guys can see that. The needles, I'm just gonna close it back up. And then that little ball comes down and holds it in place. So, more earrings. What do you guys think? Please leave comments below. Um, let me know what you guys have tried out with earrings. Um, or if you've tried any out before. Um, I will uh, make the cut file available that I used in Design Space for those of you that subscribe to my blog. You guys all get free access to my resource library. So I will have that cut in there. So let me know what you guys think. Lots of fun making earrings. Just so many things your Cricut can do. Thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. I hope you like this project using genuine leather, HTV, and faux leather to make these cute earrings. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to be reminded whenever I upload a video. Also, make sure you check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you.